Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and it's time for the monthly donation unboxing. This is everything I got in the P.O. box for the month of August 2020, and I'm really excited. I got a lot more than I expected, including letters. I have letters to read. Um, for those of you who don't know, I keep all of the letters that are written to me. I keep them in here. Uh, I intend to keep everything that's been written to me forever. So thank you to those who wrote letters. I'll be reading those. Um, I also got some boxes. I got an international package. We are uh, in good shape here. We've got a lot more than we thought. I want to remind everyone that you do not have to send anything to me. I do not ask for donations. Uh, I do have a post office box if you choose to send something. Um, if you do choose to send something, I want uh, it to be clear that you shouldn't send anything that you don't 100% want to send. If you have any doubts about uh, sending something to me, then I'd rather you not send it and keep it. But um, if you do send something, then I will open it on a video like this and show everyone what I got. So uh, thanks to those who did. Uh, if you choose to do that, I will put the PO box on the screen right now. Uh, that's where you would send it if you choose to do so. Um, so I'm going to open all of these. I'm really excited. I'm curious about what some of these things are. Um, there's at least one thing in here. I'm pretty sure I know what it is because uh, I was told what was going to be sent. Um, and again, I have letters. I'm really excited. I mean, who gets fan mail uh, anymore? Uh, actually, handwritten uh, letters in envelopes. Who, who gets that? Well, you guys send these to me and that's really exciting. Um, what I'm going to do with these letters is I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to read the letters, because sometimes people put personal information in these letters and I want to be careful how much I uh, read on camera. Um, I want to respect everyone's privacy, so I think it's better if I pause, read the letters just to make sure that there's nothing too personal in there, uh, and then I will tell you what's in the letters, and then we'll move on to the boxes. These letters are safe, not too much personal information in there, so I'm going to start with uh, Luke Bartage. Uh, Luke, thanks for writing, and uh, he has this here, and um, he says, uh, hope to find you in good spirits pretty good spirits at the moment. Thank you. Uh, first of all, let me uh, tell you how much I appreciate your YouTube broadcast. Thank you very much. Uh, I watch them all the time. Introduce me to FormBX257. That's a really good guy. Um, the whole online G.I. Joe community. Can't remember how I found HCC788, but I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did as well. Thank you for watching the show. Um, uh, he's got a list of his collection here, uh, which includes some nice pieces from the 2000s. It says, uh, I hope to get... Uh, more with this retro release and classified. Yeah, he's talking about um, the G.I. Joe retro line that's going to be exclusive to Walmart and the classified line, uh, which is in most retailers, but uh, there is uh, a, a set that's exclusive to Target. The classified line, that's the six inch G.I. Joe action figures. Now, I've been getting into them. I was not expecting to like the six inch figures, but uh, they've definitely been growing on me. Um, he says, uh, I emailed you a while back, so forgive me if, if I repeat myself. Uh, at one point, I put together a Marvel comic book and card collection for my nephew as a gift. I, I will say this. Um, I have been very behind on getting to my emails and private messages. I apologize for that. Um, my, my private life has been a challenge lately, so I apologize for the, to, to those who I haven't um, written back to, uh, who have sent me emails and private messages on... Uh, Twitter and Facebook. I'm sorry about that. I'm doing the best I can. But hey, one way is to uh, send me an actual letter. You know, then I uh, have an opportunity to sit down when I'm recording uh, the donation unboxing and actually read this. So uh, smart move, smart move. Uh, well done. So he's talking about um, uh, putting together Marvel comics and cards for his nephew. Uh, the cards are a lot of X-Men, although I got other Marvel characters. Comic books included Secret Wars, Spider-Man, Marvel team-ups, Indiana Jones, Conan, The Hulk, Captain America, and of course G.I. Joe. Um, I enjoyed really all those titles when I was younger. Um, I, I just enjoyed Marvel comics once I made the transition from reading only G.I. Joe comics to reading more comics. Um, 
uh, I read a lot of Marvel and I have a lot of nostalgia for those Marvel comics series from the 80s. He says, I recently mailed him some random G.I. Joe cards and he expressed his interest in G.I. Joe. His birthday is coming up and got him four comics G.I. Joe Order of Battle. Order of Battle, that's essential. That's, the, that's um, uh, great uh, information because it reprints the file cards for the characters. It also has some technical specs for the vehicles. Um, it says, uh, complete series, uh, Sunbow uh, cartoons, very nice. Sunbow, uh, that's a good place to start if you enjoy car the animated series. And a sealed 1991 G.I. Joe pack of cards. Well, I can tell you from experience, it's a lot of fun to open those sealed packs. I wrote this uh, part of the letter before uh, his birthday. We'll conclude it uh, after he receives the gifts. Um, and uh, he... This next part is after uh, his nephew's birthday. It says, the birthday gifting went well. I don't know what to say, but uh, that uh, now there's another G.I. Joe fan on the planet. We can use as many as we can get. We need more G.I. Joe fans, and it's really cool that you introduced your nephew to something that he may not have discovered otherwise. It says, thank you for all you do. It's awesome. Thank you. You're awesome. Only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe, and in honor of Cobra Convergence, only Cobra is Cobra. Thank you so much. And yes, um, this was uh, sent to me and was received in August, um, and August this year was the month of Cobra Convergence. So thank you very much, Luke. Really nice letter, and best of luck, and a belated happy birthday to your nephew. The next letter I'm going to read is from Brandon Knight, and this is... Uh, actually, a card. It's a card uh, with a, a, a lovely mountain scene. It looks like something uh, Bob Ross would paint. Very nice. A lovely mountain and a mountain lake. Uh, 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 nice. Thank you very much. Uh, Brandon Knight, by the way, a longtime supporter of the channel. Uh, great guy. Uh, he, he's supported the channel in many ways. So thank you, Brandon, for all you do. That uh, means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. And he sends me this card. Uh, inside is written. Dear HCC788, that's me, uh, congratulations, we did it, we survived another year of Cobra Convergence until next year. Yes, and survived is the right word. Um, uh, on my end, there's a lot of work that goes into Cobra Convergence, and that's my goal every year is to just survive it. Uh, it's amazing that even in our darkest times, we are able to come together and help each other um, in so many ways. I agree with that, and um, as I said, in my personal life, it's been a challenge. It's, uh, it's not been an easy few months. Uh, let's keep growing this community and your love for G.I. Joe and each other, but we are not out of the woods yet. We still have many 90s G.I. Joe figures to review. That's right, this year is the year of the 90s. It says, keep up the great and hard work, and remember knowing is half the battle. Yo, Joe, your Joe pal, uh, Brandon Knight, a.k.a. Knight Viper. P.S. Uh, I've now given you a virus. Which virus? The Cobra virus. You know, must now stay home and make more video, uh, review videos. How long? Maybe forever. Well, I'll tell you what. Your virus is working because I'm recording. Um, th this is kind of a break uh, from recording review videos, but after I'm done with this, I'm back to recording review videos. So your virus um, has taken hold. Thank you, Brandon, and thank you for everything else you've done. Brandon uh, has done a lot for this channel, and it's very appreciated. This next letter is from Kenneth Riley, uh, and it's a it's a handwritten letter on uh, on lined paper. This is just th this kind of thing is very nostalgic for me. People don't like uh, they don't write letters like they used to, and I think they should. You know. Do it the old-fashioned way. Send somebody a letter. Put put it in an envelope. Put a stamp on it. Send it to them. Uh, I think that is a bit more special and takes a bit more effort than just sending an email. It says, Dear Sir, uh, likes the YouTube shows. Uh, I'm paraphrasing here. Um, uh, he says that uh, he collects G.I. Joe and G1 Transformers and restores them. And if I know someone who uh, wants to um, get rid of their Transformers G1 and G.I. Joe, uh, he'll take them in and fix them. So, um, uh, this is Kenneth Riley, and he says, stay safe and thank you. Thank you, stay safe too. Um, I don't have uh, any extra, and I don't have Transformers right now. Uh, however, um, 
if you are interested in uh, having G1 and G.I. Joe uh, restored, Kenneth does that according to his letter. Um, so Kenneth, um, even though I don't have uh, anyone in mind right now, if you are on Twitter and send me an at and uh, let me know that you are looking for something to restore, uh, may be able to connect you with someone that uh, that is. There may be somebody who can see that and um, they'll want to have uh, some figures restored. So, Kenneth, uh, the G.I. Joe and G1 Transformers Restorer, thank you very much for sending this and I will keep this with my other letters. For the final letter, the envelope just says Thompson, so Thompson, thank you for sending. Um, and this, um, he sends a very creative way uh, in his view to kind of fix uh, the G.I. Joe movie. And it's James Thompson. Thank you very much, James. It says, uh, sorry about the print. No reason to be sorry. Your print is fine. Um, wrote this letter in response to the end of Cobra Convergence 5. Here's a way to fix G.I. Joe the movie. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, I know how you feel about sci-fi, but Cobra Law is now aliens called uh, in honor of Cobra Convergence. The Convergence. That would be cool, wouldn't it? To actually have something uh, in honor of Cobra Convergence called The Convergence. I, I, I would feel honored if, uh, if that were a possibility. Cobra Commander is still human. Thank you. Um, backstory trying to prove the existence of The Convergence. He becomes Cobra Commander after exposure to the spores similar to the movie. Okay, so he's not like Part of the Convergence, he's like trying to expose them. That's interesting. Convergence is on Earth to conquer it after being chased uh, off their planet when they failed to conquer it. Okay, all right. Um, uh, of course, you know how I feel about sci-fi, but this at least, you know, it's an, a coherent story. Um, won't say it's perfect fix. The point is to change the story to try to make uh, the animation already created better. So Serpentor still yells, Cobra. <clears throat> Thank you. See, he's trying to prevent that ridiculous cobra la 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 battle cry. Um, hope you enjoy this um, idea. Thanks. Uh, uh, just something to think about. Um, HCC forever. Thank you very much, James. Uh, extremely thoughtful and um, a really cool idea to just kind of see what you can think of to, to make the G.I. Joe... Uh, animated movies better. Now, there are some folks that love the movie, and they don't want to change it. They think it's fine the way it is. But, you know, if you uh, don't like the movie, or if there, you think there's something that can be changed, um, let's do that. Uh, make your comments on this video for ideas that you might have uh, to improve the G.I. Joe uh, animated movie from 1987. And to add to the challenge, uh, let's say you have to keep most of the elements as they are. You, you can change it, but you can't just, like, throw out everything. So you, you have to keep something that's similar to Cobra Law, even if you change its uh, Cobra Law's backstory and origin. Um, I think we can make that an interesting challenge. Um, if you have an idea to improve the G.I. Joe animated movie from 1987 while keeping most of the same elements, uh, write that in the comments below and we'll see what everybody thinks about it. So uh, thank you very much, James. Uh, really cool idea and thank you for sending this letter. Now we get to the packages and I'm gonna start with this one. This is from Tim Bentley. Tim is a cosplayer and a pretty cool guy. Um, I know uh, Tim, I've uh, had an opportunity to meet him and he's on my Facebook, so hi Tim. Um, and uh, I, I'm pretty sure I know what this is because I think this is what, uh, what he said he was going to send me. Um, and from the looks of it, by the way, I've cut the tape and opened all these uh, boxes and packages, uh, but I haven't looked inside. So we're all going to be surprised at what's in here, but I went ahead uh, off camera and cut the tape on them. So just to make it easier to open and you don't have to sit here watching me cut tape. You get it? Okay. Um, so Tim Bentley sends uh, what maybe another letter. So let's read that first. Where do I put my glasses? Oh, it's a card. Oh, it's a card with Halloween puppies. Uh, that is adorable. Thank you, Tim. Um, and I'm going to get my, my reading glasses so I can read this. Um, 
I'll read it ahead just to make sure it doesn't have anything too personal in here. Um, uh huh. Okay. Um, uh, I, I won't read this out loud only because, um, oh, and there's a little bit of personal information in there and all, and best of luck, uh, Timothy, um, uh, good luck to you. Uh, he also says what he sent in here. Um, and I, I want it to be a surprise so you can see when I take it out of the package. Um, so, uh, thank you, Timothy. Uh, I'm always happy to hear from you. Uh, you should never feel any pressure to write or send something, but it's always nice to hear from you. So, uh, good luck um, with uh, everything, and let's show everyone what we've got here. Uh, let's see here. It's well packed, nicely done. This is not going to be damaged in any way. Uh, very nicely packed very nicely packed indeed it's got a, a plastic container and even inside the plastic container there's additional packing material uh, and what it is is um, oh, I don't have a remote to zoom um, it is a wolf it is a wolf that is uh, about in scale for the GI Joe classified so he sent this so my G.I. Joe classified snake eyes will have a timber. So that's very nice. That's very thoughtful. I appreciate that. Um, that is something that uh, classified snake eyes is missing. I really wish they had included a wolf in some way. So Timothy, this looks great. It looks awesome. Uh, and I'm going to put this with my classified snake eyes. We're off to a good start right off the bat. That will work great with snake eyes. And this is a package from Finland, um, from Roli. Uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce your last name because I'm afraid I'm going to get it wrong. I apologize. Roli, thank you for this. Um, I, I was told this was coming uh, and it was sent apparently quite some time ago. Uh, and it took a while to get here. Apparently, international packages are very delayed. Uh, for example, I sent something to Timmer, who is in Belgium, sent him a box with a, some stuff in it, um, back in, at the end of March. And it's still not there. It is still stuck in Chicago. Um, I have already opened uh, an inquiry with the Postal Service, uh, it, it's hard to get any updates and it's hard to get anybody on the phone, by the way, to talk about an international package and what the heck is happening with it. So sorry about that, Timmer. Uh, apparently international packages are very delayed. Uh, and so this, I'm told, was very delayed. But it got here. Uh, thank you so much. And I'm going to um, open this up. Um, I've already cut it open. And I'm going to pull out the contents, and I see a letter, and an envelope, and a comic book. Um, I'm going to open the comic book first because it has the letter in it, and I'm going to grab my reading glasses again. Um, oh, this is cool! All right, hang on a second. Everybody, ever just hold on while I get my reading glasses. Okay. Uh, let's see. Another letter I get to keep. Thank you so much. Ah, okay. So I don't want to go too much into this because he says what he sends. And I don't want to give that away. I want to, I want to show you. Um, it's, but it says uh, it finishes with greetings from Finland. Uh, greetings from the United States. Uh, it says please make more comic book reviews. I'm working on it. Working on it. Cobra Convergence got in the way a little bit of the comic book reviews, but I'm getting back to it. And he sends this Action Force G.I. Joe comic book. It's Action Force. Um, and it is not in English. That is... Oh, I, I have this issue. I have this issue um, in English, the U.S. version, obviously. Uh, I, want to, I want to compare page by page these two issues this is oh wow this is where gi joe and transformers crossed over oh wow this is awesome um oh and it's got like they reprinted some classic gi joe comic book covers um this is amazing i love it um 
I, I have a, a soft spot for Action Force. Oh, they like they reprinted some older issues as well in this in this issue. Um, I've I've got to. I've got to, to do a side-by-side -side comparison. I'll have to go dig up my comic books and um, and uh, just compare these two and see see what the differences are. So thank you. That's awesome. That all by itself, it, totally worth it. Uh, thank you. And let's open this. And there, yep. This is this is Gung Ho version four. Um, I'm going to take it out so you can see it a bit better. If I can do that without having to cut tape, uh, it's well packaged. Uh, you you managed to send it uh, halfway around the world and it was undamaged. Um, so yeah, this is the version of Gung Ho that I didn't have. I had the others, uh, and this. This kind of thing really helps me. It helps me finish out uh, the collection. It helps me fill spots in the collection. Um, it does appear to have all of his stuff, including his super extra American flag um, and his uh, Marine Corps tattoo that's uh, somehow moved over to his arm. Um, his M60, his missile launcher. Um, that's awesome. See, this is really cool. This helps me a lot, and I got this from Finland. Um, so thank you very much. Thank you for the letter. I was going to attempt to read uh, the... Oh, he's got the Arashikage tattoo, and um, I, I, I don't want to butcher your, your language. Um, so uh, out of respect for Finland, I will not attempt to uh, say... Uh, the the final greeting here in your native tongue, but uh, but thank you very much for this. Thank you for the help. Thank you for the comic, uh, and just thank you for supporting the show. Thank you for everything you do, and it's really awesome to know that you're watching there from Finland, and, uh, and of course greetings from the United States. Backpack is in here too. I missed it in the envelope, so he has his backpack as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'm going to open the boxes now, and I'm going to go in uh, reverse order of size. This isn't necessarily the order in which I received them, but they, it's the order in which they were stacked. So uh, let's uh, look at this, um, and that is from... Uh, the name is a little bit obscured on the label. Uh, last name is Bandy uh, from Virginia. So, oh, we have a letter. Uh, good thing I kept my glasses handy. Uh, let me make sure that the letter is uh, okay to read. All right, well, this I think this is safe to read. Here we go. Um, it says, I just wanted to send you a little something in appreciation for all the hard work and entertainment you provide. Thank you very much. Um, in honor of Cobra Convergence Month, I made a Cobra Commander completely handmade by me at home so it isn't perfect. I'm, I haven't looked at it yet, but I'm sure it's pretty good. Um, hope you enjoy it. Uh, it's the least I can do to thank you for everything you do. Well, I, th I thank you for being here. Um, it, without you being here, the channel wouldn't be what it is. So uh, thank you for all you do. If you want me to get, want to give me a shout out, you can, can but it's, uh, that's not why I'm sending it to you. I'm sending it uh, as a love for your channel and its content. Thank you for everything. Jason Bandy. Sorry, uh, your name, I didn't get it right from the label, but it's Jason Bandy uh, at bootleg.customs. Bootleg.customs. Um, Jason Bandy. So uh, a shout out to Jason Bandy uh, and uh, for my appreciation uh, for him sending this to me. So let's see. Let's see what we've got. Um, we've got a handmade Cobra Commander in here. I'm going to attempt to remove the tape without cutting because I don't want to accidentally damage what's inside. Let's see. Uh, the camera that I'm using now, it doesn't have a remote. I kind of miss the remote, but the camera itself is a, a higher quality. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is really fascinating. You think this is, is not perfect? This is amazing. This is, it's basically, it's a clear Cobra Commander. That is incredible. It's a hooded uh, version of Cobra Commander, and somehow you managed to get the hood 
right as well. It's it's like it's like a hologram Cobra Commander. It's still fully articulated. Um, uh, this is cool. I'm gonna have to find something to do with this, something, some kind of display or something, because that is exceptional. Um, so it was bootleg.customs, Jason Bandy, bootleg.customs. Thank you very much for this custom. The hooded Cobra Commander, of course, the hooded Cobra Commander is always special to me. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll keep it in a place of honor. Thank you very much. This is from the Clements family, and uh, they already sent me my uh, G.I. Joe Classified Cobra Commander, uh, the first item from Wave 2 that I got. Uh, I really appreciate them sending that to me. But they sent me something extra as well, so uh, I'm curious what they sent. Um, let's open this up. I did cut the tape on it, right? I did. I did. And it is, oh, I know what these are. I know what these are. Yes, yes, yes. I, I'm, okay, I gotta show these to you. These, I know exactly what these are. These are the Loyal Subjects um, figures. Uh, they made several of these G.I. Joe figures um, and it's got like uh, nicely detailed, but they've got like the big big heads on them. Uh, they're kind of uh, uh, sort of distorted proportion figures uh, with file cards. Um, that, that's Beachhead. Um, I really wish... Uh, in fact, I'm going to stop this because uh, I want to zoom this in a little bit so you can see these a little better. Uh, I kind of wish I had done that before. <laughs> but time out. Let me, let me stop this and zoom in a little bit. All right, that's better. So now you can see Beachhead better, and while well, we're at it, you know, here here's that awesome uh, hooded Cobra Commander custom, and uh, and and Gung Ho, and uh, and the wolf that will be Timber. So now you <laughs> got a better view of everything that I've just opened. Uh, should probably should have done that a little earlier in the video. I don't want to put that back in. I want him to stand right there. So. Uh, there's Beachhead. Uh, come on, Beachhead. There we go. Um, and here is a Cobra Officer. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Cobra Troop Builders. Um, it's got his helmet. They, this is still sealed. I'm not going to take this out of the, the bag. I'm going to keep these sealed. Um, but there is a Cobra Officer. Um, there we go. Again, with file card. Includes file card. Is this like all of them? Um, because uh, I, I know they only made certain characters. Uh, they only made so many of them. But uh, there's a lot in here. There's a uh, copper head. Nice. Uh, it's got the black um, M16 with grenade launcher. It's reminiscent of the Python Patrol um, copper head. There's a wicked cool Firefly. Of course, I'm a big fan of Firefly, so that's always welcome. Uh, there we go. I'm trying to make sure these guys stand up properly. Here's Roadblock. Again, with his uh, accessories still sealed. If it's sealed, I'm going to leave it sealed. Um, but let's, let's kind of put him in between. There's Blowtorch. And I have, somebody did send me a blowtorch. So that's how I was kind of able to uh, get acquainted with these guys. Um, and these all have the file cards as well. These are amazingly complete. There we go. Um, here is, let's see here. This is Major Blood. Major Blood with sealed sealed accessories let's see we're still oh we're still seeing those here let's move them back a little bit want to make sure you can actually see these guys major blood and oh yeah his uh dog tags those are that's a separate piece that's cool um for such tiny figures the detail work is really impressive um, these are a few steps above the pop vinyls, which um, have some detail, but uh, 
have often like generic bodies and heads. These are not generic at all. These are specifically sculpted for these uh, characters. And there is Snake Eyes uh, with more sealed accessories. So we'll keep those in the bags. Uh, wow. Uh, so thank you to the Clemens family. Uh, thank you for these. Thank you for your help with uh, Cobra, oh, Cobra Commander as well. I just bumped the table and knocked these guys over. Um, no, you guys are going to stand up uh, while I finish this. Uh, so I can say thank these people for sending them to me. Thank you is what I'm saying. Um, these are really cool. This is going to get me much more acquainted with these um, loyal subjects figures um, because uh, yeah, they're kind of new to me. Um, I, I kind of missed the boat when these were out and new. So thank you for sending these to me and thank you for your support. The final box is from Dave Domenico and he has sent some stuff before. Um, it is, whatever it is, it's well packed and it's very lightweight. Um, let's get in here. Um, if it is, has this much packing material, we need to take some care. Um, I see. Okay. All right. I think, I, I think this is it. And I want to just make sure I've not lost anything in the packing material. All right. We're good. We're good. That is all packing material. That is super well packed, Mr. Domenico. Um, and what we have here, uh, oh, that is interesting. Okay. What we have here, and I did not see a letter. I'll make sure. Um, no, no letters, no letters. And that's okay. Just wanted to make sure that I didn't miss any. And what we have, we have, um, let me open these up. We have some later G.I. Joe figures. We have a Shadow Ninjas Storm Shadow. If you remember the Shadow Ninjas, they are figures that would change color in warm or cold water. Um, they are from 1994, uh, so the last year of the line. And the Shadow Ninjas replaced the uh, Ninja Force figures and reused uh, the molds of Ninja Force figures. So a lot of the Ninja Force not all of Ninja Force, but a lot of them were recreated as Shadow Ninjas. And I just ratcheted his arm. Uh, just a reminder that he does have his uh, action feature. Uh, so that's awesome. Uh, Shadow Ninjas, thank you very much for that. And what we have here is um, what I believe is the... Is that... Um, Who's, it's Snake Eyes, it's Ninja Force Snake Eyes with somebody's helmet. Who Help me out, whose helmet was that? I, um, I'm blanking. I want to say it's like a Robo Joe helmet. It's um, definitely got a, a Batman quality to it. You probably can't see that well enough. But it reminds me of Robo Joe's helmet. And, uh, and a, a Ninja Four Snake Eyes, which is not a bad version of Snake Eyes. And he should have his action feature, uh, which is, let's see, let's get his arms in position. Yes, and if I squeeze his legs, his arms will punch, 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 punch. Uh, so, Dave, thank you for these. Uh, very much appreciated. And that is everything. We have unboxed everything that was sent to the P.O. Box. That was our donation unboxing for the month of August 2020. Thank you to everyone who sent stuff in. Really cool stuff this month. I want to remind everyone, you don't have to send anything. I am happy just having you here, just watching the videos, and I appreciate you simply being here. If you choose to send something, the P.O. Box will be on the screen right now that's where you send it and if you send something i will open it and show everyone i got if you send a letter uh, i will read it and as long as it's safe and not too personal uh, i'll tell everybody uh, what you wrote me so thank you very much um this means a lot to me you mean a lot to me um it's been a challenging few weeks uh, it really has but um, the support that i get from uh, those of you out there that watch the show, that's really gotten me through it. So, uh, thank you. Th that's I, I, I wish there were bigger words that I could say, but thank you. Uh, thank you for this, and thank you for everything. Uh, that's all for now. 
I've got to get back to work on vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews. Uh, there's some coming up. I'm, I've been working on them, uh, and I've got to get back to working on them. So uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, I'll see you uh, next month if we get anything in the P.O. box. But until then, remember only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.